please. Kids should like, just wear- hey, what's going on? They should mandate kids wearing helmets until they're like 15. No, no, he had a fever and it, it roasted his brain. Holy shit. Was yeah. it like Rise Syndrome or something? Took that aspirin? It's, you know, when you're a kid, you get a fever for four days. That's it. Permanent brain damage. Burnt out. It burns it up. Oh, my God. Yeah. I've been real cheery this week with my Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, folks, let's I love focus. that shit. I watched an episode of Little House on the Prairie, and they had a plague or some shit, and the little kids are dying, and I'm just like, well, the, this the, is entertaining. The Thank problem you. with our jobs is we we... Uh, I don't want to say we're looked up to, but people that are hard days work and they want us to go, come on, guys, we're going to yeah. get through it. You can do it. Uh, yeah. And I do that. I stay positive and I'm like, we're winning. We got CRT uh, shut down in some schools and we got these teachers right. fired. And <laughs> event, sometimes, though, I just want to go, can we just focus on the darkness? On the horror and darkness that I is. I did a thing yesterday on the show where I just looked at pit bulls murdering people and dogs. And I'm like, I know a lot of you have pit bulls, and I know a lot of you have dogs, but they're fucking murderers. Oh, God. And some guy just gets home from work. He's like, what the fuck, Jay? I need some laughs. Let me put on Gavin McKinney. Pit bulls here. murder people. Oh, motherfucker. This ain't funny. And then I got all these, I got actual dog lovers sending us letters going, it's actually worse than that. It is, right? Like, you have to separate pit bulls from their litter. Because they eat the whole body but the head. So when you have pit bulls and they're near their litter, you'll come back the next day and half the litter will have eaten the other half body up to the head. So they're just puppy heads. Wow. That's they're fucking up. demonic. That's what they, I hear from a lot of animal fans and oh, I've, it's gone out, I've gone out with girls that work at shelters and oh, things fuck and they're, off. they're terrible. Uh, I went out with this one girl in Ohio. She she worked at a sh uh, at a shelter. Wait, where were you? I was here in New York. So you dated a girl in Ohio? Yeah, yeah. You flew her down? I used to fly there and fuck her on the weekends. <laughs> weird. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. It was a weird time in my life. I had a fuckload of serious cash. So first class flight just, on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I'll fuck this Ohio girl for a little while. Oh. And I did. And I go and and like, I I go to her her apartment, and you know all, Dayton or whatever. The all I want to do is fuck. She's in Akron, 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 Ohio. And those kind of girls too. They're like, oh good, you're here. Uh, let's have dinner and a movie. And you're like, yeah, I haven't fucked you in I just seven need to days. Fuck. We're fucking. How about you just blow me and then we'll go do. Then something. we'll do something. Right, right. And then after she blows, you're like, yeah, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna hop Let an me early call JetBlue. I'm gonna hop an early flight. <laughs> I wonder if they do Friday at 1 a.m. <laughs> I could charter a plane. I whatever it takes. Yeah, it, I just get a limousine to drive me <laughs> I from Akron drive. to Ohio, Long New York. It's really not as far as not most bad. people think. Especially if you sleep, yeah, I could sleep the whole way. Limo, you can lay out a sleeping yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. So uh, I I go into her apartment and and. I, I, I don't like not having the home field advantage. A hotel's different. Yeah. But your own bed is like home field advantage. Yep. In a, a, a an odd girl's house. Oh, yeah. I know bed, exactly what you're saying. It's, you know, there's Their just. cat some, is there sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's an away uh, team thing, and you just feel a little. And she works at a show. She had a couple of rescue dogs that were staying with her while they fucking, you know. And Oh, dude, that's the dude, worst. It, it, everything was were they pit covered bulls? in. Yeah. Yeah. She had pit bulls in the house. In the house. And everything well, was Well, you're a there. rapist to them. Yes! That's what I felt. And they're coming around like... <laughs> I'm like... They're, they're make, I barely was able to out-volume them in my pussy-licking sounds <laughs> as they <laughs> walked around oh doing this. Oh, my God. But there was them in another hair room? everywhere. Oh, Animal okay. hair everywhere. Everywhere and everything smelled like wet dog, and it was just like I could barely fuck her. <laughs> I did, but it managed. It was to. one of those things. It was like, yeah, I. But those those are the people that have this mindset that the animal's never wrong. It's not a bad breed. It's bad training. It's this, and they always say like, well, a pit bull 
has to be trained properly. The only ones that are vicious are yeah, the ones that I aren't mean, trained. I mean, that's true. So does a tiger. Everything. So does a nuclear weapon. Right, right, a nuclear weapon. <laughs> so does a pandemic. So does fucking COVID. It's like, right. yes, you can't harness the power of the pit but bull. But here's the other but thing. Like, like, it's like those superhero movies <laughs> where they have the bad guy in like nine levels of uranium. Right, right. And then Keep them there. just hold them there. <laughs> the, the thing they, they also say, though, is, well, you don't want to get a puppy. That's terrible. Puppy mill or this. You need to adopt a, 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 a pet. And it's like, well, all right. So you're saying that a badly trained pit bull are the dangerous ones. Yet I'm supposed to go to the pound and get a badly trained pit bull because the person abandoned it, probably fucked it all up. And that's what I'm now supposed to take home. Instead of the puppy that I can train uh, to maybe not eat people, maybe, but, but I think it maybe. still will. It's Meanwhile, the puppies I just told you are it's eating inherent their puppies. in the they breed. Eat their brothers and sisters. The pit bulls are sharks on the land. Yes, they're just fucking. You don't know. Sometimes you see that shark, sounds flattering. To sometimes me. you see a shark and they go swim by a diver and they go like dunk. And then they go away, and it's like, whoa, that was a close encounter with a fucking deadly shark. But then it goes away. Sometimes, though, sometimes they don't go away, <laughs> and they eat you. That's like a pit bull, though. At any moment, I don't want to have to guess whether this thing's going to rip my throat out. Fuck that. I have a They're buddy, vicious animals. Tony Buzzcock, they call him. He's in the Buzzcocks, the late Buzzcocks. The Buzzcocks. Buzzcocks. We're very good pals. Wow. We both knew the band Crass and would stay at their farm, and they're like these geriatric anarchists. And it was fun <laughs> to make fun of them because we had a love, love-hate relationship with them, obviously, as you would with geriatric anarchists. And uh, like a malice. <laughs> sure, he'll be there one day. He might end up on Dial House's steps. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, and everything was going great. And then I go, "Hey, I just moved to Westchester. I'm in the suburbs now. Uh, you guys should come up." And he's like, yeah, no problem. That'd be great. It'd be great. Uh, and he rescues pits for not a living, but almost. And I go, this probably should go without saying, but my youngest boy, Johnny, this is six years ago, oh, uh, yeah. is, is pit bull height. So yeah, yeah. I obviously don't want you bringing your great rescue meal. pits over. And he's like, fuck you. You're dead to me. And I'm like, okay, bye. I'd rather you be dead to I be dead to you than my kid be I dead to you. Still got a kid. Oh, right, right. I lost you, but I, I still it's got a It's not like there isn't unbelievable precedent for pit bulls ripping children apart. It's like my dad said. He goes, every single fucking dog owner in ER is saying he's never done that before. <laughs> That's what a great example of how volatile and un yeah. unpredictable. Oh, he's eating four kids. <laughs> So I don't want him to eat your kid. Yeah, yeah. There are just some breeds, I guess, that are, you know. We bred them to be murderers. They're way yeah. worse than wolves. Giant fucking The head is muscles. just like a T-Rex eating it's machine. T-Rex, yes. Giant mandibles with, gi that's why their head's so big. It's not just the skull. That's muscle. Their fucking jaw muscles are like your glutes. Bam. You have to be at peak shape when he starts biting you. Oh. To, I don't know, gouge his eyes. Yeah, yeah. You have a panic attack. And even that, you're I getting think... eaten. Yeah, yeah. So you got to knock him out. You got to, they say, grab the legs, split them open. By the way, all that implies rational thinking. Yes, it, yes. It's like you're not rational. Those guys who pour gas on themselves <laughs> on a diving board and then they light themselves on fire. Right, right. And then they start going, Aah! and they run. They run away back. from the water. From the water because they're in panic mode. Rational thought would be jump into the water. You're yeah, not rational when you're on fire. It's like getting tased. Like, yes. put your hands behind your back. Aah! <laughs> I'm in an electrical fire. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Oh, no shit. You're not thinking. And when a, an animal is attacking you, I honestly think there's a part of your brain from 200,000 years ago that kicks in and just goes, ah! run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're Jump up thinking. and down. You're not thinking. You're you're a, another animal being eaten by another animal. Another animal. I'm and, not James it's Bond. It's the most primal oh, let thing. Me just grab its balls. Right, and put right. My finger up its ass. <laughs> I'll try that move. It's like all that self defense shit where you're like, grab the gun, and uh, turn around, and right, shoot right. him with it, and then knock the knife like, out. Okay, try it. Get him in the throat. Bam. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Shut up. Doesn't yeah, work. It's not happening. <laughs>